What's up, my guys and goddesses? It's the God, Young Mon Two Ron. We're back, kids. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. This is your weekly cosmic forecast uh, for Monday, January fifteenth, and uh, we're gonna go all the way through uh, till about Sunday, um, the twenty first. So I appreciate everybody for tapping in. It's the guy, Young Matu Ra, Young Seer, Young Sorcerer, Young Oracle, I'm musician, artist, producer, and DJ. And now today we're going to talk about what's going on in the cosmos uh, as we are trying to finish up this week while the sun is in Capricorn. I want everybody to know out there this energy has given us the motivation to feel responsible, to be more ambitious, and to respect that law and order. Remember, Saturn rules Capricorn, so we're all going through these different transitions of holding ourselves accountable um, you know, getting to higher standards of life, understanding the structures of our life and how there is appreciation uh, for order uh, with this Capricorn energy. Uh, but we want those tangible results with this Capricorn. Uh, obviously, we just had that new moon as well. So this is something that we want to have things established, getting comfortable with the framework with the boundaries as well, understanding our limitations, but working towards those long-term goals. And, and we've just been doing our, uh, especially these past couple of weeks, finalizing this whole year, uh, getting things together in regards to our own goals and in life. And, and that's what has been going on in my own personal life. But I want people to understand right now is that uh, we are going to transition uh, at the end of this week into Aquarius. So this is going to be another cycle motivating us to be hungry for knowledge, hungry for experience, and accepting our own originality and our own innovation uh, is, is what's more important as well. So this is something that we're going to talk a lot more about as we continue, but this Capricorn energy is taking place pretty heavy. Let me look at the chart here real quick. Uh, so, you know, we got tons going on in Capricorn. We got the sun, we got Mars uh, there as well. Uh, we got Pluto stationing Capricorn still for a bit. Mercury just entered Capricorn as I am recording this. So this is something that, um, this is epic right now. And speaking of Mercury, uh, tapping into Capricorn, uh, it did retrograde into Capricorn as well. Uh, retreated and sagged for a little bit as well. So this is something that, um, you know, when Mercury is, is in Capricorn, we're thinking you know, methodically, you know, we're thinking focus, we're trying to be more practical. I do, I do believe, excuse me, it's easier, it's going to be easier to concentrate uh, with the tasks that we are obligated to accomplish. You know, um, I do believe this is some, it, it may not be as interesting. Remember the communication of, of Mercury and, and things like that. This is going to be more guarded on being cautious, you know, being more, uh, uh, you know, methodical is the word we we use earlier, but it's being more um, focused on the approach, our studying. Uh, you know, having fantasies, but understanding we have to have some some realistic out tones as well. But this is a, a great time to solidify our plans, to be more organized. Uh, I do believe this is something that is going to guide us and teach us to help us with our daily responsibility, but also being. Um, Understanding that we're going to reap the rewards of our hard work. Remember, we talked about that Capricorn energy with the new moon is about hard work. It's about dedication. It's about that social status. And that is what we're headed to as well. Uh, I'm not going to talk so much about the moon because we did a whole new we did a whole new moon and the one 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 portal is still uh, is still playing out as well. So we want to keep our level head with this Mercury entering Capricorn and uh, I do believe it's going to help us to focus uh, on our day-to-day, -day, but also our long-term goals as well. We still have Venus and Sag till about January 23rd, moving from Scorpio into Sag. The romantic energy shifts from this intense um, um, synergy, I want to say, is, of course, has its intense moments with Sagittarius, the, you know, the... The arrow of love and passion, creativity, spirituality with Venus being there. Um, this energy, I believe, is 
you know, kind of less focused while that Scorpio energy, while Venus was there, was more concerned with intimacy with a specific person. I do believe this Sag, with Venus and Sag, it's more like a universal love. Not meaning, not saying that the romantic energy isn't going to be there, uh, but this is something that I do believe finding that higher truth in our relationships, finding that higher truth with ourselves, with the love that we have for for uh, who we are and, and who we uh, expressed to the world. So this is idealistic in our relationships during this cycle. It might be a bit more critical than usual of our partners, maybe our companions, our support, our dreams, our goals, our freedom. Remember, Sag is all about freedom. It's about beliefs. It's about spirituality. It's about having that vision. Uh, but we are going to be uh, more intellectually inclined during this period to be more open to our feelings, uh, to be more open with um, our freedom, but also understanding that there can be some backfire with that, not being too spontaneous, but understanding our love for ourselves and art and cultural interests and, you know, you know, special topics about travel, higher learning you know, hanging outdoors and animals. Speaking of animals, I got a spirit cat and, uh, you know, I, animals give us something that, uh, we don't know or can't see. And, and I believe in, I'm going to do a whole episode on spirit animals coming as your spirit guys and things like that. But, um, you know, let's not get careless with our finances while Venus is in Sag, uh, you know, Venus energy likes to, um, you know, express themselves in, in beauty and things like that. So let's not get too caught up in, in our outer appearance as well. Uh, but also understanding that this is a good luck time for us. This is good karma involving our finances and our spiritual, uh, our, our spiritual education. So uh, that, that's it for, for Venus on this week. Uh, Mars in Capricorn, like we talked about, Mars is going to be in Capricorn until about February 13th. Um, so this is that energy where we have with the new moon in Mars, we, you know, the, excuse me, the new moon in Capricorn, um, you know, we got the sun in Capricorn, we got Mars in Capricorn, we got Mercury in Capricorn. So we got this energy helping us during this cycle to be more reliable, be more reserved, be more faithful to our goals. Um, you know, this is that orderliness, that discipline. We got Mars and the sun in Capricorn helping us to plan things out, to be more focused, to dislike what we don't like and be able to speak our truth. Uh, we're not going to be sloppy or, or things like that. This might give us that ambition, a clear head. Remember, we're going through a lot of transformation, and I do believe the transformation is still going on until we get that lamb in Aries. You understand what I'm saying? So, But this is going to be measured with Mars and Capricorn, a need for us to control uh, the things we can and understand that we can't control everything. So we have to understand that um, just being sharp. You know, being on top of our business, standing on business, as as we say. But that's what Mars and Capricorn is going to bring. Uh, you know, we still have Jupiter and Taurus. I'm not going to spend so much on the outer planets, only because we talk so much about them. They have been in retrograde. We still have Uranus in retrograde. Jupiter still in Taurus at about five degrees. Saturn just got off of retrograde. Not too long ago, it's at four degrees. Pisces, you know, Uranus is still in Taurus at 19 degrees. Neptune in Pisces still as well. And uh, Pluto is still in Capricorn as well. So there's a lot going on, uh, I believe, in the underworld. I do believe we're still, like right now as I'm recording this, our midheaven is um our midheaven is in Libra, but at the same time, that is the only air energy we have. So we're still battling communication, thought processing. We're still battling uh, a, a couple different things. I don't like the one, maybe not battling, but still trying to adjust uh, with not having that air quality, that quality, that air element in the overall global scale. We know this is a big year uh, for everything. We know this is an epic year. Um, and this is expect, and I'm going to do a whole no, whole nother episode, but expect some rhetoric, expect uh, another scam, expect the unexpected. But at the same time, uh, we are going to tap back in uh, with our resources and our finances and our goals. So that is kind of this week's synopsis coming up uh, for Monday, January 15th to Sunday uh january 21st 2024 it's the god young mantura 
and I will see you in the next one. Peace.